Today uh, I finished my second uh, version, the new version of uh, Ecker again. The reason why I had to write a totally new version is that it was uh, being detected by uh, a lot of uh, antivirus programs as a, as a dropper. So the difference now with uh, Ecker again is that uh, when you launch it without any arguments, it, it doesn't do anything. And that's why this uh, version is uh, almost not detected by uh, antivirus. The, the only one, according to VirusTotal, that still triggers on it is Fortinet, but uh, all the others don't uh, detect it anymore. So that is because when you launch it, this version, it doesn't do anything. If you want to write it, the ECR again file to disk, you need to uh, provide the, egg, the right uh, argument like this, right? If you do this, again is written to disk and you can see here Windows Defender uh, detecting it. Ekar.com is written to disk. Now with this new version, not only can you write Ekar to disk, but you can also write a zip file or a PDF file to disk that contains the Ekar file. So Ekar again zip and now a zip file is written to disk that contains an ECAR file and that is also detected uh, by Windows Defender and ECAR again PDF and now ECAR .pdf is written this, so that's a PDF that contains an embedded ECAR, but as you can see, Windows Defender does uh, not detect that. Now, um, when you just provide one argument to ECAR again, it will just use the default file names ECAR.com, ECAR.zip and ECAR.pdf. If you want to provide your own file name, that is still possible, so you do an ECAR gen write and let's call it xxx.txt there you have it